This this saddlebag was just dangling like a ball sack. Ninety nine percent of the comments there, were people were just saying that I can't get this to sit. The huge flaw with, with this. So my question to Silka is, Silka, if you're watching, did you not test your products? Why is this still on the shelf? Really? Silka sent me a bunch of their product after I did a negative review of their seed roll. So if you've not seen the video where I did the review of the seed roll, please check it out here. And um, I'll talk you through why Cycling Weekly gave this a one star rating and why I think it's still a design flaw and I don't think this should be on the shelves. Okay, so I'm going to replicate exactly what happened with this seat roll and what components I have on. So the other day when I did a 140 kilometer ride into Johor when I first got this seat roll, the issue was that in Singapore, the roads were flat, no issues, it wasn't sliding, all was good. Until when I went into JB and the roads aren't so great, um, it was quite bumpy and everything started bouncing around and this thing just flew off, it kept sliding. I was so pissed off. It, I held the whole entire group because I had to pick it up from the ground and slide it back. And to one point where the rider behind was telling me, bro, your, your saddlebag is sliding off. I said, I can't be bothered, man. I, I tried tightening it, it doesn't work. It kept sliding off. So when, when I posted the Instagram story, the marketing guy from Silka said, did you watch our video of how you packed it? I'm like, yeah, of course. How, how difficult can you be packing this thing? And, um, and that that is not the problem. And when I went to the comments of that video, everyone, 99% of the comments there, people were just saying that I can't get this to sit. So I, I just think there's a huge design flaw. And let me just get this straight, right? I think Silka, they're very innovative. They try to make this kind of stuff. Uh, and I think the other set of back, the Maton, I think that's great. Um, but I think this one is just, it's just, it's just wrong. Okay, so these were the tools that I had on. So some people were saying, maybe you pack too many things into seat roll. I'm like, true, that could be a problem. But when this thing flew out, I took out a few tools and yet the thing kept sliding again. So I had a CO2, uh, this uh, quick link, multi-tool, tubes, and a chain breaker, okay? But on that day, I had an extra CO2 and one more tube. So this is just for illustration purposes only. So I actually have lesser tools here and I'll just put it onto the saddle and I'll explain to you what happened. So when you pack it up like this, here is the problem, okay? Which is why I think it's the, the design flaw. It's, it's helped by this flimsy um, and piece that, that hooks onto the saddle rail. And if you don't pack it right, this thing starts flying around everywhere, okay? So let me hook you onto the saddle. So I've got it mounted. Um, let me just talk about problem number one. Problem one, immediately the other day when I went for my ride, someone said, do you have a multi-tool? And I said, yes, I do. And I regretted saying, yes, I do, because taking this thing out is a problem, man. Once you take this out, uh, you have to remove the entire thing, open up the seat roll, take the tool, fold it back and put it back. So that's problem one. If you have a traditional, um, saddle bag, unzip, you get to pull out the tool. With this, everything you have to roll it out flat, repack it, so extra step. That's one, problem one. Okay, so now let's let's talk about how this thing, this thing failed on me on the right. So like I said, it's held on the, on, on the, by this thing here on the saddle rail and you tighten this board down, that's how it sits. So when I did the first video, I thought, oh, it looks pretty secure, right? Even now it looks secure, but when you start riding, this thing starts what happened to me, it's this thing started sliding out here and the thing just fell off. And I repacked it, maybe I, I installed it wrongly, I swapped it around, then it started sliding down this way. So um, yeah, that, that was a problem and it kept sliding all the way down. Some people say maybe you tighten it too hard. I don't think so, man. If it's loose, you'll be bouncing all over the place. So I, I think that's that's the, the huge flaw with, with this. So my question to Silka is, Silka, if you're watching, did you not test your products? And uh, why is this still on the shelf, really? If, I think if you've done your product testing properly, this would not have happened. And I don't think I'm the only one, right? Um, here's a video of one guy who sent, sent this to me. Uh, he said, <laughs> this, this saddlebag was just dangling like a ball sack on his right. And that is exactly what happened to me. And eventually it just flew out. So that, that is the problem with this one. So. Um, Anyway, let's just move on. Uh, that's, that's just my honest opinion. 
And let's move on to the, the other one that Silka has sent to me, the Maton Saddleback. And apparently this is their very hot selling Silka Saddleback, it's called the Maton. I think this one is radically different, it's much better as compared to the seat roll. So Maton is a very small, tiny, compact bag that is still held by a boa dao. However, it's different compared to the seat roll because of the way it the way it's being held onto the saddle rail as compared to the seat roll. I think this is a very popular saddlebag because there's a lot of imitations out there. And I've seen quite a lot of people were, uh, using this saddlebag so I think it should be good and I don't think it will have the same problems as the seat roll. Alright, so this is the Matone. Um, very small bag. I like it. I like how small it is. Very compact. And comparatively, this one looks much more sturdier than the seat roll, right? You've got this 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 thing here, you can put whatever that you want to put through. Um, small items, cash, notes, whatever you want. Let's see if we can put all these tools, the same amount of tools that I had on the seat roll into this bag. All right, good news. I managed to shove everything into this pack. So I think it's quite a decent amount of volume that I can fit in. And uh, I'll hook it onto the saddle rail and uh, you can have a look. And this is the Matone on the bike. I think this one looks much more sleeker, much more better than the seat roll. Uh, comment if you agree. And let me explain how this works. So you've got this very big strap that holds the, the pack inside and you have to kind of fit it through your saddle rail and it comes out and it's held by the boa dao. So just tighten it as usual and then it's, it's really secure. I know I said this in the last video of the seat roll, but I think this one will not come out. I've seen reviews of these people are really liking this saddle pack. And uh, just to unclip this, and this one comes off from here. I think you've got, I, if I'm not wrong, this is how you do it. You remove the boa strap off the hook here, and there we go. So that's that's how it's it's being held on the, on the saddle. So. Again, Silka, thank you very much for pacifying me and uh, sending me this together with the multi-tool. I really appreciate it. And um, I, I still think that you have an issue with the seat roll. Um, and that's just my opinion. Um, I, li I like this one. I think this one is sleek. And yeah. So if you guys own the Matone seat roll, if you'd like to share with the community, please do so. Um, I'm here. I, 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 I know that Silka replied to me because I have a number of following. I've, I've posted these videos which kind of got a bit of attention. Um, but I hope to be the voice of you guys, of the riders, right? And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've got cool things that you want to send to me for reviews, here is my email address. And uh, see you guys in the next video. And thanks. Bye-bye.